Good morning, Joaquin. My name is Kristen. I'm coming to you from beautiful Eugene, Oregon, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about emerging technology and specifically wearables. In the last couple of years, we've made a huge amount of strides on the ability to get real or near-time information, situational awareness from the fire line to the firefighter out in the field. And a lot of the ways that we're able to get that information back and forth has primarily come from things like the ability to have smartphones or tablets on the fire line or computers actually just a couple of years ago. Within the last couple of years, there's been huge strides made. Already we can implement things such as a uh, weather, little weather station on your cell phone or an IR remote on your cell phone. We've had the ability to have things like Google Glass where you can actually download mapping and be able to view it from your screen and also be able to record and send information from the fire line back. In the last year or so we've seen a big increase in virtual reality and those are virtual reality simulators the use of things this is actually just a Google Cardboard that allows you to see 3D for relatively cheap, we're talking, you know, I think this was like $10. And you could actually build scenarios and use that for training. And that, I think, is going to be really important to keep our first line leaders skill set up to date and also a really good way to mentor our people coming up. Because with that ability to be able to sit in a room with somebody in a safe environment, allow them to make mistakes, to really be able to see where they're at and be able to help them move forward and also, that's how we imprint. We learn so much more from our mistakes. What's also really exciting is this being that ability to actually create 3D. And we can do that also pretty cheap now using things like GoPros for a couple hundred dollars. Two cameras put together, you can actually build your 3D world. We can use apps that can allow you to build photospheres. And why is that important to the firefighter? I think that the big main piece of that is actually bridging that gap of situational awareness, being able to look at a map, where they're at, be able to talk around, see their path, be able to see the distance where they need to go to, and give them that sense of orientation that is not just that 2D piece of map. Now, on the wearable side, What's pretty exciting recently is we're also seeing things like, so this is the Apple Watch, and being able to push that information back and forth really quickly. And I think that what we're going to see in the future is things like Ken Chen's exoskeleton system that allows firefighters to lift heavy loads, be able to move faster in shorter periods of time. I think that we're going to have that integration. Wearables are going to allow people to bridge the gap between not only the information that they're assimilating from the outside, but those things that they might not readily see, like CO2, their heart rate, being able to find out where we're actually utilizing more energy or, you know, what conditions our firefighters are in. If we can figure those things out and make changes to those to make it easier and better for them to, you know, be healthier out on the fire line, make better decisions for their body to be able to work more efficiently, be able to pass information back and forth. So like I would be able through a computer on the other side to be able to see if the CO2 levels are really high or be able to maybe make identification of changes that that person on the ground might not readily be able to see. If we can bridge that gap between sending and receiving those messages, we can have better outcomes and not only better outcomes for a firefighter, but also better outcomes for our natural resources. Either that we're putting the fire out quicker or we're using it for its best benefit. And we're going to be able to get that information by being able to glean it through the use of these tools to be able to integrate. LiDAR is also really exciting right now. Being able to bridge that with those 3D maps, being able to say where we should prioritize. What are we seeing for changes such as climate change? And how is that going to impact our firefighters? I think that for me, that's kind of the most exciting part is how these technologies come together and bridge and create a synergistic outcome 
whereas our firefighters are safe, they have better situational awareness, and our whatever our end goals are actually being accomplished. And they're being accomplished at the greatest amount that they can because our people are able to make better decisions because they have the tools in which to make them. All right. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Joaquin.